Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. My name is James and here at 20th and 21st Movies, we are about all things cinema. Well, today I wanted to spend a few minutes here to share with you my thoughts on a title that I have really been looking forward to ever since it was first announced a few months ago. This is a Kino Lorber Studio Classics title. It's a 4K Ultra HD release of the 1960 film from Billy Wilder, The Apartment. This is the film from 1960 from director and writer Billy Wilder, starring this all-star cast, Jack Lemmon, Shirley MacLaine, and Fred McMurray. And this is one of my favorite Billy Wilder films. I'll just tell you right off the bat that this film from Billy Wilder, it ranks pretty high for me. Of the films that I've seen from this director, this might very well be my favorite of his films. There are a few Wilder films I have yet to see, but of the ones I've seen, this is right up there at the top. And it's because it's an absolutely extraordinary film. I mean, this is a great drama comedy. It's like a dramedy. It's a drama, comedy, romantic comedy, type film that is brilliantly written by director Billy Wilder and writer Billy Wilder. And the script and the screenplay for this film is pretty close to perfection. It is that good. It's so well written and the acting from these three leads really make this film. I mean, you have Jack Lemmon here. He plays C.C. Baxter. He's working in Consolidated Life. It's a large insurance company and he's a worker in that insurance company and he is sort of a low-level worker and he ends up working his way up, up the ranks. But one of the complications in his life is that he has an apartment in New York City and he lends out his apartment to some of the executives who work in the firm, in the company, who use the apartment on certain nights of the week for their extramarital activities, so to speak. And so right off the bat, you kind of get a sense that this film is really pushing the boundaries. This is a film from 1960, so it was shot in the late 1950s. And so it's really pushing the boundaries of, of the production code and what, what would be considered acceptable for films coming out at that time and really sort of laid the groundwork for shall we say, more, uh, more uh, adventurous types of, of scripts and stories. So uh, this is a film that was definitely groundbreaking in that, in that respect. But when you think about the subject matter of this film, it sounds kind of, kind of sordid in a way, but the way that this film is handled from a writing standpoint and an acting and the way this film is executed from a pacing and just the overall story that's put together it is just a very well put together, well told story that based on the acting of Jack Lemmon in this lead of C.C. Baxter, he's so relatable. He's just a down to earth guy that you can relate to, but he's, he's funny, he's deep, he's personal, he can be serious. He's just so multi-layered as a character. This is a role that really shows the genius of Jack Lemmon as an actor and I, lo I loved him in Some Like It Hot, but I think his role in this film might be among his best roles. And then of course you got Shirley MacLaine in this film. She plays Fran Kublik. She's a, a, a elevator operator and she and Baxter here strike up a relationship in the film. And it's sort of a three way triangle between C.C. Baxter played by Jack Lemmon Shirley MacLaine playing Fran Kubelik, the, the elevator operator. And then the third person who is in this mix, Fred McMurray, he plays Jeff Sheldrake. He is a high up executive in Consolidated Life. And as Jack Lemmon kind of works his way up the ranks, lending his key to, to his apartment out to these other executives who then put in a good word about him to Jeff Sheldrake, and he gets promoted up through the ranks, it, it becomes a very interesting dynamic seeing the relationship between C.C. Baxter, his, his feelings for Shirley MacLaine's character, Fran Kublik, and the role that Jeff Sheldrake plays in that triangle is just an incredibly fascinating story that you will really enjoy seeing it develop as it unfolds on screen. It's just a great story. I cannot recommend this title enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut to the chase 
and tell you that I recommend this title from Kino Lorber on the strength of the film alone. Now I'm going to talk about what I think about how this film looks on 4K Ultra HD. And then there's also some supplements in here that, you, that you'll want to know about. But I'm just going to let you know right off the bat that this release from Kino Lorber is recommended. It's just a great film and it's really my, probably my favorite of Billy Wilder's films. So enough gushing on the apartment. I absolutely love this film, as you might have guessed from my description. But it's, it's, it's a film that I just recommend people to see. If you like classic films, if you like, uh, if you like Jack Lemmon, if you're a fan of any of these actors, it's definitely recommended. If you like Billy Wilder films, but you haven't seen The Apartment, definitely get this. It's pretty much a no-brainer. This is a 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray combo pack. There's no digital code. As far as how does this black and white film from 1960 look on 4K Ultra HD. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this really looks really good. This is a great picture. And this picture really, from a picture quality standpoint, is a great example of how great these black and white films, when they're restored and put on 4K, on the 4K Ultra HD format, it really shows how great these films can look. And it, it, it's, it's really apparent because I had a chance to pop in the Blu-ray as well and watch the Blu-ray as well as watch the 4K. And this is one of those cases where there is definitely a perceptible difference between the Blu-ray and the 4K. You definitely get a step up in quality with this 4K disc. And the best way I can describe this image is that it's very, it is very clean, it's, it's rich, in, sense, in the sense that you get a lot of depth in the image. You've, you almost feel like it's, um, it's three-dimensional in nature. And there were several shots where, like for example, Shirley MacLaine's character would be in a close-up and she would be wearing a, like a fur coat or wearing some kind of a jacket. And you could literally make out just the detailed stitching in her clothing. And it was just, it, it just blew my mind some of the some of the areas of detail was just absolutely phenomenal. There were plenty of shots that were were soft, depending on how the focus was set for that particular scene. But there was also plenty of detail to enjoy in this image. And the image overall just looks rich and alive and vibrant for this black and white presentation. The blacks look really black. And, and just rich in their blackness, so to speak. And there was just a great range of contrast between the dark areas of the scene and the light areas of the scene. So you'll notice in watching this film that you'll see areas in a particular scene, in a particular frame, where there's dark and black you know, areas or objects, but then there's like a lamp on casting light and you see this wonderful, you know, dynamic range of bright whites and dark blacks. And that's, I guess, the magic of 4K Ultra HD and how beautiful it can make a black and white film like this look. I'm probably not describing this very well. I'm not the most technical at these things. I'm just trying to convey how this looks to me on 4K Ultra HD. And what I'm saying is it looks absolutely phenomenal. This black and white film has been restored beautifully. It looks clean. There's none of that, of that uh, crackling, you know, in the, in the image. It is absolutely clean and spotless. It just looks absolutely amazing. A very light layer of grain is evident in the image, but it's beautifully resolved and is very clean, well restored, and it just looks absolutely fantastic with great contrast, great detail, some nice depth in the image and some good separation of characters in the foreground from the background. And you can make out a lot of detail in the image. It just looks very alive. And you can definitely tell the difference between how this black and white picture looks, a black and white film restored, put on a 4K Ultra HD disc and cleaned up really well really makes a difference compared to other black and white films on say DVD or Blu-ray. It is the difference between night and day. So this is an absolutely stellar looking picture. I have not uh, seen 
the Sun Like It Hot 4K yet from Kino Lorber, but seeing how this turned out on 4K Ultra HD is definitely making me think about picking that up. Now I have the Criterion Collection uh, Blu-ray of Some Like It Hot, which of course stars Jack Lemmon as well, as, as, as well as Marilyn Monroe and Tony Curtis. But based on how this turned out, I'm definitely leaning toward picking up Some Like It Hot. Let me know in the comments below if you have Some Like It Hot on 4K from Kino and if you think it's worth double dipping. Let me know that in the comments below. But based on the way this picture looks, I would expect that it's gonna be a, a very nice picture. So overall, strong picture quality. The audio is, is also very strong. I'm not, I'm trying to see if, if I can see the technical details of the audio. I do not see the technical aspects of the audio on here, but it sounded very clean and came across very well. I'll put the details of it in the description, but, or on the screen here, but it sounded great. And overall, from an AV standpoint, I'm very, very happy with how this looked on 4K Ultra HD. As far as how the package looks, it's a pretty basic package. Of course, you get this slip cover here, you know? So the slip cover and the main disc has, disc cover has the same art. Of course, you see this art here on the front. Hope that's focusing. And then on the back, you have a couple of pictures here and a description of the film and some of the special features, of course. And as far as the special features, there are a few features on here that you'll wanna know about. I had a chance to listen to both of the audio commentaries. One is by film historian Joseph McBride and one is by film historian Bruce Block or Bruce, yeah, Bruce Block. And they're both excellent commentaries that really help you better understand a little bit more about the film and the production. So I highly recommend listening to both of those commentaries from Joseph McBride and Bruce Block. There's also a documentary inside the apartment and then Magic Time, The Art of Jack Lemmon, a featurette. Those are also both very good, very good features. All the special features, or actually those two features appear on the Blu-ray. And of course the commentaries appear on both the 4K Ultra HD disc and the Blu-ray. And of course you get a theatrical trailer. Of course, in some of the uh, features here, you're gonna hear from Jack Lemmon's son, which is really nice to sort of hear from him you know, you know, talk about his father and his experiences. And he also sort of shares some of the inspiration that Jack Lemmon's father or his grandfather gave to Jack Lemmon as Jack Lemmon was considering what career to go into. Apparently Jack Lemmon's father was a baker and Jack Lemmon's father wanted him to go into the bakery business with him. Uh, but you know, Jack Lemmon went to school. I think he went to Harvard and came back and said, you know, I, dad i want to be an actor and his his dad didn't you know didn't push back on him he gave him some good advice that really helped him uh help to spur on his career in acting and encourage him to you know give it his best and to do the great job that he ended up doing as actor jack lemon so that was really interesting and some of the other other uh, really good information that his son shared about his dad. You also hear from Shirley MacLaine in, in some of this as well. So some nice features. It's not an incredibly packed you know, list of special features, but they are features that I think will help you better understand this film and Billy Wilder's filmography, Jack Lemmon, the actor, as well as the other actors who played in this film. But those two audio commentaries are absolutely excellent and I highly recommend them. So as an overall package, I really just cannot say enough about this release from Kino Lorber Studio Classics. Of course, you know, from a packaging standpoint, it's pretty basic. You know, you're getting your standard, your standard uh, Kino, Kino uh, disc case. Of course, you get your two discs in here. You get a Blu-ray and a 4K Ultra HD. Not really a whole lot in the way of art. <laughs> you know, it's, it's you know, basic, basic uh, Kino Lorber, you know, logo there. So nothing special there, but the content is what's special. The movie and those commentaries and those couple of features are really what make this package. And this package is overall highly recommended. 
I would go so far as to say that this package and that this title is one of the best titles, one of the best titles I've seen this year. It's up there with, it's almost up there with Touch of Evil and just some of the other just stellar titles that have come out this year. This is definitely near the top of that list. So this is highly recommended. This is The Apartment on 4K Ultra HD from Kino Lorber Studio Classics. This is the classic film from Billy Wilder starring Jack Lemmon, Shirley MacLaine, Fred McMurray. Great drama comedy from 1960 and I just simply cannot recommend this film enough. I believe it's available on streaming if you don't want to, you know, uh, initially purchase this. I think you can catch this film on streaming somewhere and that may be a good way to start. But this to me is a film that I would recommend just if you haven't seen it, just blind by it. This is a film that I feel very safe in recommending to people to just blind by it. You will enjoy it. It's well written. It is just masterfully written and conceived from Billy Wilder. And, and actually, one of the things that you learn from the supplements is that this story was inspired by Brief Encounter from Noel Coward. So that is a film, I believe from Noel Coward, and it's interesting that I've not seen that film, but from what I understand, it includes a, a scene where this couple is, is using an apartment for their affair. And so that's where Billy Wilder got the idea of saying, well, what if I tell the story from the perspective of the guy who lent the apartment? And that's where he, and that's where he got the genesis for the idea for this film based on that earlier film, Brief Encounter by Noel Coward. So I thought that was interesting from the special features. But yeah, I thought I'd throw that little nugget in there at the end. But this is highly recommended. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the apartment. Let me know what you think about these actors. What are your favorite films that they have appeared in, whether it's Jack Lemmon, Shirley MacLaine, or Fred McMurray. And let me know what is your favorite film from director Billy Wilder. Let me know that in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and we'll look forward to seeing you next time at the movies. Peace.